Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan. I've got something really interesting here. First of all, I'd like to say thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for sending me these free products. Yes, it says right here to VM Campos from. Let's get a nice close up right there. From. Wizards of the Coast LLC. So I got something nice from Wizards of the Coast. Thank you so much for that. Let's crack this open and see what it is. Throne of Eldraine. Collector boosters. Look how shiny they are. Look how shiny Garrick is in his cute little green coat right there. Yes, thank you so much, Wizards of the Coast, for these free products. They sent me these so I can crack a pack of uh, Throne of Eldraine collector's boosters for you, the fans. All of you that follow me on social media and Patreon and YouTube and all over the place, thank you so much. Let's crack open two booster packs of Throne of Eldraine Collector Boosters. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, Wizards, for these. Let's see what we get. Now, everything in here is basically a foil... Uh, treatment of various cards. So first of all, look at this beautiful food token with those curly uh, bananas. Hilarious. This is number 16 out of 20, the tokens. And then after this, okay, that's the last card. So, okay, so the token is at the back, the commons at the front here, like a usual booster. Wow, this is so shiny and beautiful. So rose, thorn, Acolyte, and we've got the Fairy Guide Mother. Wow, these just look so amazing in real life. Their foil premium treatment for Boating Fruit. Love this card. Again, this is just so epic. Every single card is foil. <laughs> oh, amazing. Embereth Paladin. I love how the light is picking up. Look at this, the blood. Is the blood shiny? Yeah, look at that red shiny blood from the Revenge of Ravens. Hilarious. Ooh, there's a alternate um, border. Shepherd of the Flock, amazing. So Usher to Safety is the adventure. And besides that, it's a 3-1. Wow, this looks just pretty amazing in real life with the alternate frame. And nice and shiny. Look at that little lamb back there. Totally being shepherded from the danger. Mystical Dispute. I'm just going to keep saying this over and over. I just love the foil treatment on this. And let's see what amazing cards we get here. So actually, that was the uncommon. Put it right there. Once and future. Cool. I love that sky. Ooh, Fey of Wishes. Amazing. So this is a rare. And the alternate border, so amazing. This is in non-foil. Okay, cool, cool, love it. Then we go over here to the alternate frame common Merchant of the Veil. Buying old worn out junk, selling marvels of real value. Hilarious. Then we've got the Arden Veil Tactician. Oh, another beautiful alternative art. This one really feels for some reason like um, Monty Python style art. And you've got the Dizzying Swoop. I love some of these names. And we've got, ooh, Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale. This, uh, this is a Brawl only card, is it not? Yeah, it's 330, so anything past 301 comes in a supplemental product. So I got Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale, a, a, a Brawl Mander as a Mythic. Then we've got a Stone Coil Serpent. Nice. It's the full art version. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the uh, this is the rare number three eighty five. Amazing, love that. And we have ooh, which is vengeance in foil. Another rare. The hex swept through the village. Its citizens falling one by one. I loved using this card on my opponent's elementals deck. It really took out those risen reefs really well. And then again. 
the token, double-sided token. We saw the food and then we're seeing the human with a cute little chicken and everything running around back there. Nice and foily. Cool. So I'm gonna recap what I got here a little bit later. Uh, but let's move on to the second pack. Um, this is just really amazing. Once again, thank you so much, Wizards, for giving me this free product. I, I, I'm just so grateful for it. Let's open one more. All right, so eventually we're gonna get another food token. Mm, that looks so tasty, I'm kinda of getting hungry. Wow, look at how the, the foil really pops on, on the fruit or whatever that is on that scone or whatever. Tasty. Okay, then we've got the another rose. Okay, this is the rose thorn halberd actually. So this is the artifact in green. I'm loving the reflection in her eyes. Tempting Witch, amazing here. Look at the little bit of specular highlights on the apple. That's a fancy term, meaning the highlight right there from a, sp a, sp a specific point. And look at how her eyes are glowing. Look at that when you catch the light just right. Murder, clad in crimson beauty, an end to life and love and duty. This is the Barrow Witch incantation. Scorching Dragonfire, so much foil on that, amazing. Ooh, alternate uh, border Garenbrig Carver. I love it. Look at that. Look at the treatment on that. So cool. Lachtwain Gargoyle. Very nice. Ooh, I like the shadow, the highlighting actually on the parts of the statue. Cool. Red Cap Melee. Very nice. I love how the red really stands out and. You know, his eyes shine as well as his teeth as he's getting ripped apart by those red caps. Wow. Righteousness. This is the classic. If you didn't know, this card has existed since day one of Magic, way back in 1993. Give your your blocking creature plus seven, plus seven instantly. This is an uncommon. And I love the colors that are uh, radiating from this. Sir Elorn. Sir El... Eleonora the Discerning, very nice. Uh, I love her sword. Look at that icy sword right there reflecting the color. And her unicorn, I love that horn. Uncommon. Oh, Pinocchio, Inquisitive Puppet, a uh, artifact construct. So luminous, that, that background. Lonesome Unicorn, oh, I love this again. Um, this is the non-foil version number 276. And very cool art. Who's this by? This is Alan Elena Danner. Rimrock Knight. Beautiful. Again, these alternate art ones. Uh, apologies on the official name. They've got a bunch of different names that I didn't memorize. Uh, but th this art is looking great. And we've got the Curious Pair. Ooh, way nicer than the original art that was way scarier. But here it's still a bunch of witches about to tempt them and get them after that uh, after they get the pie. Then we've got the Workshop Elders, such a sweet little pair. This is a uh, just a regular old rare, number 318. Uh, okay, this is also one of the Brawl uh, cards, one of the exclusive cards, number 318. A uh, full art Charming Prince, very cool, love that. And we've got a worthy knight. Ooh, cool. I love this in my black and white knight's deck. Really helps populate the board. And I love the foil happening right there. Lastly, then we get the giant. Oh, that's nice. And then we saw the food right there too. Making me hungry again. Nice. So let's recap. I got some amazing double-sided foil tokens, a giant and a human, plus a couple of foods. It's really fun to say foods as a plural. I got a variety of common uh, foils, common premium ones. Beautiful. Look at that fairy guide mother. I got a few uncommons in foil revenge of ravens red cat melee righteousness sir eleonora inquisitive puppet once and future in mystical dispute over in the rare foil i got witch's vengeance beautiful i got a rare non-foil workshop elder which is related to the uh, brawl 
decks because I also got a Sir Gwyn, a hero of Ashvale. I got a rare foil worthy knight. Got some alternate art commons, non-foil, curious pair, Rimrock Knight, Art and Veil Tactician, Lonesome Unicorn and Merchant of the Veil. I kind of love the art on this Rimrock Knight. He's just galloping into the fray. Cool. I got two uncommon uh, alternate border, uh, Shepherd of the Flock and Garen Brig Carver, both of these. Uh, one is a common, one is uncommon, both are foily. I love those so much. I got a non-foil but alternate art, Fey of Wishes. Beautiful, I'm going to be able to get stuff from outside of the game. And lastly, two full art cards, both rares. I got the Stone Coil Serpent and the Charming Prince. Amazing! Well, what do you think? Do you like my pulls? Do you want to help me thank Wizards of the Coast for this free product? Thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for this free product. It was really cool opening these. I love them. It really is, you know, Project Booster fun. It's it's fun. Look at all this alternate stuff to get, and it's just so cool to really trick out your deck, and you never know what you're going to get. It's, like, really random and interesting, and each pack is an adventure. Pun intended. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, check out my Patreon, you get a lot of free stuff if you simply follow. If you go to the $1 pledge, you'll get access to exclusive stuff like deck tech videos. If you go to the $2 range, I will actually also mail you vintage cards straight from my collection. Uh, no, not a Black Lotus. And uh, I would appreciate it if you comment and like on this video, spread the word, it really helps. This has been VM Campos, and I'll see you in the wilds.